take this. Stuff off here. Hey, hey, everybody. Come on in. All right, you guys, I just wanted to get on um, because I'm in between running errands and I got an 11 o'clock consultation. So I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the, I guess, the financial team roles that might not be probably the, the best title for it. But I just kind of wanted to share some things based off of the consultations that I've had recently and um, I guess some things that need to be clarified about who's doing your financials, be it personal or business, in the roles of each particular person. So I wanted to start off with the bookkeeper, okay? And that would be yours truly. Uh, the function of the bookkeeper is basically to organize your financials for the tax preparer. Okay, if you think of your financials as a closet, the bookkeeper is there to organize your closet. Okay, um, the second role is the tax preparer. All right, and that's the person who does your file that files your income taxes for you. Um, maybe your H and R Block, your Jackson Hewitt, those individuals, stuff like that. Um. What I have noticed in a lot of my consultations is that many people assume that the tax preparer also does bookkeeping, which may be so. In most cases, it's not um, something that you'll probably need to clarify and ask your tax preparer about. So, and it's most of your tax preparers is very transactional. You give them the financials, they file your taxes, you either have to pay the tax bill or you get your refund and you're done right so you got your bookkeeper your tax preparer then you have your tax planner okay and the goal of the tax planner is to reduce your tax liability long term these are primarily your people that will talk to you about like life insurance um, your retirement plans things of that magnitude right so what they will do is talk to you about your long-term goals and then say if it's you know if you're not in a business and you're doing you know your personal thing your personal planning they'll let you know which retirement products will probably be best for you depending on your age and situation um and then also probably give you um some things to do tax wise as well to take back to your tax planner or your bookkeeper right or well same thing for your business most personal folks don't have bookkeepers anyway goofball and last but certainly not least the cpa and i put the cpa last because the cpa actually can be all encompassing the cpa can be the bookkeeper the tax uh preparer and the tax planner the cpa uh, given that certification can pretty much do it all um and what the CPA will do um, also will provide tax strategies for you if they're um, doing either or, to be honest, um, either the tax planning or the tax preparation. The CPA will also, if you're in the business, 
will also give you guidance on which entity you need to be under um, to reduce your tax liability as well. Okay, so just keep those in mind. You got the bookkeeper, the tax preparer, the tax planner, and the CPA. It's so, 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 so important that you ask these individuals what they specify in, what their niches are. Okay, because you do have some CPAs that specialize in, you know, commercial real estate or certain businesses. Uh, there are some bookkeepers who specialize in um, helping particular entrepreneurs. Believe it or not, there is a bookkeeper. Um, she's one of my charter school colleagues, and she does bookkeeping for um, the Santa Claus. Because <laughs> her, I believe her husband was like a mall Santa Claus, and so I guess they all kind of hang out and kick it together or know each other. And so she would do the bookkeeping for all of the mall Santa Clauses. So, yeah, for real. Check the niches of the people that you're connected with, even with your tax preparers, because you don't want to be in a situation where you're filing taxes with someone and, God forbid, something happens or you get audited or you need to file an amendment and they're kind of what we call the seasonal tax preparers, that they're only available during tax time. Um, especially if you're in a business, you want somebody that's going to be with you year round, that you have access to year round. I would definitely ask for um, specifics on what they do and what they don't do, um, because depending on your situation, you may may not need all four. Okay, so just be very, very, I would say, worrisome <laughs> if your potential um person that's doing that you want to do your finances can't handle a lot of questions they probably don't need to be with you because one thing that i know for me and one of my core values um uh, is integrity and i understand with me and most of my clients are startups um they're gonna have a lot of questions because they don't know and it's part of my job to inform my prospective clients on what they need to do and if i don't have the answer i have a team of cpas i have my own personal tax planner for the jones household i can reach out to so i'm connected to make sure that they get um their questions answered that's just part of part of what what you have to do okay and then trust is definitely important anytime you're talking about somebody's money trust is a non-negotiable Okay, so I just wanted to get on quickly and let y'all know about those four things. So look, if you are in need of services, you know, it's, we got, what, two more days before the end of, the, end of the, uh, 2021. You don't want to do all that. You don't want to go through all those receipts and stuff like that. Let me help you. I've got QuickBooks set up for um, $250 to help you at least get get the building blocks set up connect your bank fees so you'll know how to organize your uh, financials for your taxes or if you know good and well you didn't do anything as far as your financials with your business this year you know you're gonna have to pay a little bit more <laughs> we got to get all that stuff together in two possibly three months okay so that's what we call the end of year tax prep the tax catch up so if you want um, more information about any of those, make sure you reach out to me. You can message me here on Instagram and I'll send you the link to schedule a consultation or you can go to the website that's pinned, www.gipfinancials.com. You can schedule a consultation there. It's up at the top right in the green box. And let me help you get in position. All right. Take care, you guys.